If you've managed to actually get a hold of one of these new currencies and look at it for yourself with the king on it, you may have noticed how he was looking in the opposite direction to where the queen was. This is for a fascinating reason that I myself before researching this did not know about and was curious about it. So, why is the monarch facing in a different direction to the queen? I'm standing here outside the Pevensey Mint House who have opened their doors to celebrate the King's coronation. Shall we head in? This building is full of so much history that I hope to explore in a future episode of the podcast. If that's something that you're interested in, stick around for that. Before I talk to the chair and the lovely volunteers. But something that is great about this building is that they're still undiscovering the stories to this very day. Undiscovering things in the gardens and the courtyards that they were never expected to be there. As you can probably tell, there was an abundant lack of footage from within inside the mint house. I can only apologise for that, for taking all the history and absorbing all the information that will be coming up in a future episode of this podcast. So stay tuned for that. Overall though, I think the Mint House gives me a perfect excuse to talk about currency and link it back to the coronation which has happened this week. If you've managed to actually get a hold of one of these new currencies and look at it for yourself with the king on it, you may have noticed how he was looking in the opposite direction to where the queen was. This is for a fascinating reason that I myself before researching this did not know about and was curious about it. So. Why is the monarch facing in a different direction to the queen? To put the answer very simply, it all boils down to tradition dating back to the 17th century. This way was to alternate the way successive monarchs are facing from left to right and so on. On the 29 billion coins in circulation that feature the queen's image she is seen facing on the right so it's fair assumption and as i said earlier if you are one of the lucky ones at the moment to actually have your hands on these notes you could maybe check it but it's a fair assumption to guess that the king will be facing to his left another interesting fact that i learned recently was the fact that the kings do not actually wear the crowns. I didn't actually notice this until it was pointed out to me by a friend, but I looked back on the 50p coins and I actually noticed. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content just like this, then consider subscribing down below with notifications turned on. That would really help out a lot. I've been Dan Middleton with Postcard.